Hey, what's up, YouTube? King James here. So there's a new SMG that's been added to Warzone, and it's not really an SMG at all. It's the nail gun. It's a special weapon in Cold War, and it's an SMG in Warzone, and you have to unlock it. It's a bit tricky to unlock, so I've got some tips on how to do that. And when you use it, there's only really one loadout, so there's not really a loadout for it per se. So what I'm going to bring to you today is how do you unlock it, and does it work? And, you know, is it actually strong, or is it a waste of time to unlock? So I've got all that for you right now. All right, so first let's talk about how do you unlock this thing. And you get it five eliminations with a special weapon. So the M79, you probably all have this unlocked in 15 different completed matches. So I did this using the M79 in Cold War. I was leveling up some of the other guns that came out with the new season anyway. So I would just, you know, grab it. I'd get five kills in the beginning and then work on leveling up the, uh, the C58 and the MG82. So this is just sort of something I did in the beginning of it across 15 matches. The other way that you could do it is you can grab the m79 and jump into plunder and go to um storage town or uh, superstore and just get five kills and back out with it and that's the other way that you can unlock it now in cold war you can't back out but in warzone you can and it'll still count as far as i know although it says completed matches i think anyway it's pretty easy to do in cold war and just run around and get kills with that thing and away you go so why do you want to unlock the nail gun well check this out okay here's the the mp5 which you can see is the best close range gun the ppsh which i think is the best smg overall and then the mac 10 and the lc 10 all pretty close Close, but let me add the nail gun. So here's the chart with the nail gun added and look at the time to kill on it 350 milliseconds. It's way lower than the current reigning champion the Cold War MP5 at 492 and even at range it's you know 631 which is way better than all of the other SMGs combined like it's crazy how fast this thing kills but there are a few downsides to the nail gun like the 20 round mag and the fact that you can't customize it at all it's just a nail gun and the amount of the damage it does but damage it does a lot of damage check this all right so here's the nail gun stats 550 rpm so it's got low rpm so it's going to make it a high skill gun to use but 81 uh to the head 64 to the chest and 50 to the stomach and extremities that's crazy high damage you look at any of the other guns they're nowhere even close to that it does triple and double the damage some of these other ones due to the head and the chest so i mean the damage this thing puts out so if you're a really good player and you can deal with low rpm high damage weapons where they're not very forgiving the nail gun is a beast let me show you a little bit of gameplay from me using it all right so check this thing out i was running up here and this guy dropped down and it's just i don't know i think it was only about three or four bullets and two to thirst guys running around a corner there no problem i can just get right in there and take them out like the power this thing has when you're running into a room with guys even if you don't shoot first it's crazy strong how good it is i ran in here i had these guys down took that guy out that guy out that guy out got all three of them down even though you know one of them just got rest so he didn't have very many plates but you know it also works really good as a secondary weapon for thursday guys you know like it's it's fun to use and i really enjoyed it and i had these guys were all over us on the roof here so i was using my um c58 and carrying it as a secondary and boy does it ever work good as a secondary it's super strong it's pretty fast when you're running around with it and it does a ton of damage so i had these guys right here and i'm just like i'm just going to use just the nail gun because this is when i was first just had it unlocked and was using it and i got that first guy down i hit that guy a few times and i waited on purpose because i knew this guy was going to crawl around they're going to go for the res and as soon as you're doing that you're vulnerable slid right around the corner boom down these both got both these guys no problem with this thing it's crazy how strong the nail gun is the time to kill on it is super fast i, I Honestly, I actually think it's pretty fun to use as a, as a gun. So as I said, I've been using the nail gun with the C58. The C58 is a really great AR all around. It works at all ranges, even if you got a scope. So as a good secondary, the nail gun works really nice with it. So the thing about this though is in Cold War, it's a special weapon, but in Warzone, it's a SMG. So in order to equip the thing, you have to go to the SMG category and scroll down. It actually took me a while to find this because I didn't know where it was. I was looking under, you know, under melee or special weapons or trying to look at it, look for it without using ghost and thinking it was one of the other weapons but it's not it's considered an smg so you can't use this and get ghost and it's probably because it's just way too strong they've done that with pistols before and i think it makes ghost too easy so they don't want that to be that way so i think that's probably why they put it under smgs but the thing about the nail gun is well 
there's no customization. There is no loadout for it. So, you know, the, the only thing you can do is put a camo on it and add some stickers and a charm, but there's no reticle, no, no options. So there really is no build out for this thing at all, but it is fun to use. And if you don't want to unlock it, you can always just go and buy the blueprint. It's not super expensive. It's a, a thousand call of duty points. So it won't really ba bank the break the bank buying it. And you get a couple other, uh, you know, some battle pass tiers and, uh, you know, finishing moves. So it's not a terrible value but it's honestly not that hard to unlock you can do it in cold war you can do it in plunder and unlock this thing pretty easy so give it a shot and let me know have you tried it you know do you like it do you think it's toxic do you think it's no good is it gimmicky i actually really enjoyed using it and we'll probably continue using it somewhat within my normal gameplay so anyway give me your thoughts in the comment section down below about the nail gun and whether you're using it and what you think and as always guys if you don't see me in warzone if you don't see me in multiplayer it's only a matter of time baby king james out